Howdy guys, Fedora 42 is out, and it might just be the answer to all your questions, you know, like life, universe, and everything, or it might just be the next best Linux distro. Either way, we'll find out. So we'll be trying the Workstation Edition, which has a brand new installer, which I'm super keen to have a look at. So once you are in the live CD, you'll notice it's pretty stock standard GNOME, which isn't the best place to start for a non-Linux user. I mean, where are all the icons? Thankfully, I'm something of an expert with mystery meat navigation. Just hit the super or windows key and you should see a set of icons, one of which is install to hard drive. The installer looks boringly terrific. Fedora is very much a polished and mature distro, so don't expect to see anything too out there. Just slick and competent UI. I like this right to left reading layout though. And the partition tool looks very polished. If you've tried as many distros as I have, you get to see quite a few partition managers. And I must say, having funky or misaligned UI on a partition manager can be a bit worrying when you stand to lose gigabytes of your important personal data. No such trouble here, nothing but confidence. And there doesn't actually seem to be much to do besides sit back and let the installer do its bit. Alrighty, and just like that, we are at the final screen. Bit of an anticlimax, but let's boot this baby up and check out what's new. Righto, so we are in the initial setup, and once again, Fedora has kept thing pretty close to stock GNOME. One thing that annoys me here is there's no access to the desktop settings menu, which has the screen size settings. The screen resolution is pretty high, and my old man eyes just can't handle it. It just won't let me right click on the desktop until I proceed through these steps. But let's just power through here. And we are done for now. And now we have a tour. And Finally, access to the menu. So let's fix up the resolution so I can see what I'm doing. Finally, a resolution for the uh, screen resolution issue. Much better. Now these screens are very Fedora-esque, nice and colorful, but quite subtle and professional looking as well. Okay, so let's talk about this wallpaper. This being Fedora 42, I get the hitchhiker reference, but six times nine is not 42. So I had to Google this and it's 42 in base, 12 or 13 instead. So the wallpaper is a little Easter egg, courtesy of Fedora 42. Nice. So as I said earlier, Fedora is pretty close to vanilla gnome. So no desktop icons or taskbar shortcuts to open an application, you almost always need to press the super key or click the application launcher on the top left of screen. I don't think this is good, but at least they are consistent and have stuck to the stock GNOME behavior. As a new user, not good. As a regular GNOME user, however, you've got used to it. In the appearance settings, we have light and dark mode. And here's where our wallpaper becomes even better. It switches between night and day, and these little stars come out in dark mode. That's really cool attention to detail. You've also got the standard color picker for the accent color, but these don't make a huge difference and only show on a few elements. With wallpapers, Fedora doesn't really come with many options. There's not really much of a selection.
The GNOME settings application is one of the best around and is in that Goldilocks zone of not being too complex to find things, but also not being too simple to be useless. One of the new improvements is the new well-being section, where you can set limits on screen times and reminders to go out and touch some grass. While I'm not a major advocate of grass touching, I can see this being super useful for some people. Alrighty guys, that was a quick install of Fedora 42. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. Until next time.